Alrighty folks, welcome back to the channel. Hey, new subscribers, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Are y'all non-subscribers? Hey, please check out the uh, check out the channel. If you like what's going on, it doesn't cost you anything to hit that subscribe button. But uh, I appreciate everyone that actually watches the videos and it takes time to, you know, to watch through those ads and do the whole nine yards. I, I definitely appreciate it. Shake and Bake definitely appreciate it because as y'all know, every red cent from YouTube goes right back into Shake and Bake. But as you notice, we're not in Shake and Bake. That's one. Two, we're not even in the Jeep. Y'all seen me in the Jeep before. So three, we're actually in my son's truck. So I needed to borrow his truck to pick up what we're going to pick up. So we're on our way uh, to pick up something pretty, pretty interesting. So stay tuned, folks. We'll come back once we get there. All right, everyone. I know some of y'all know where I'm at because you all recognize the background. We've been here a couple times, but we are back at Clinton Machine Shop. We're here to pick up the forged engine uh, and we're going to go over. Uh, we'll, I'll get a little bit of us loading it up if I can uh, and then uh, we'll get into what we did and how much it cost to do everything we did literally from the block to the pistons to the rods to the crank to uh, everything we did to the engine so you guys know exactly what's done to the engine so if you want to follow my build you can follow it you know to a T but let me get in here, take care of some business, and uh, see if we can't get this thing loaded up. Alrighty, folks. <laughs> uh, we got her loaded up on the truck. We're gonna leave her in the plastic for now. Old Chris is gonna <laughs> make me pay for that strap. I'm gonna get a strap from them, strap this thing down, and uh, we're gonna get ready to go. There's Bean, folks. <laughs> oh gosh, he jumped up. I didn't think he was gonna jump up with me. Oh, Beaners. Oh, there's Indy. Say hi, Indy. Say hi, Bean. <laughs> Say hi to the folks, Bean. Okay, okay. All right, everyone. So y'all see, <laughs> seen we went to Clinton. Uh, I'm sorry. I know there's some uh, wind noise. Hopefully, there's not. It's not too bad on the uh, coming across there and doesn't plug some of this stuff up but uh you saw us get to clinton machine sh machine shop you saw me pay the final bill which was just uh, a couple hundred dollars and then we loaded it up put it on the truck and now it's uh sitting out front in the back of my son's truck until uh, i figure out what i'm going to do with it but like i said we're going to go over uh everything and if there's a specification i missed and you want to know i will call the machine shop and try and figure out uh figure out what it is but um so literally half the expense was uh getting the block ready uh, uh let's see they cleaned the block they aligned and honed five mains uh five mains uh, they balanced everything, so everything is rebalanced. Uh, I highly suggest to make sure if you make any, if you do the same thing, that you get everything balanced. Uh, they bored and honed the block. Uh, they also decked the block to make sure everything is 100% flat and ready uh, for the heads once we move everything over. Uh, so they got the cam bearings, installed the cam bearings. God, this wind is driving me nuts. Uh, and all the plugs necessary. So they did all of that. Uh, they parallel decked uh, the V8 block uh, and assembled the short block. And that's just uh, basically the labor. Uh, and that came to, all of that came to $1,705. Now, now we'll get, uh, and that's mostly labor stuff. That's all the labor stuff. Uh, just basically prepping the block to be fully assembled when all the parts came in. Uh, so here's what we got for parts. Uh, we got the freeze plugs. We got new freeze plugs. Uh, the new cam bearings. Uh, we got Molly pistons and rings. Uh, we got the Eagle rods. 
We got the ARP 2000 rod bolts, uh, bearings and parts, and then uh, the total part cost was $2,031.99. And we did bore over uh, uh, 20 thousandths, so 0 0.02. We did go uh, 20. We did go 20 over uh, on the bore, and that just helped us helped us to uh, gave us a broader range of pistons to choose from. Um, and what I paid for the block uh, was $600. Was just for the block, and then other things I had to get. And I'm sure I'm going to forget something, but I got the 61 crank. Uh, that was $600, I believe. If I remember correctly, uh, then we got the uh, new reluctor wheel, the right reluctor wheel, because uh, the stock six one isn't is is not the right one. That was a hundred and thirty dollars, I believe. Um, we've we've also purchased the head bolts. Those were two fifty, I believe. Uh, we got the spacer that you're gonna need from we got that from HHP that was only 30 bucks I think 30 35 dollars and I think that rounds everything out so everything that the machine shop did came to three thousand eight hundred and fifty eight dollars and ninety one cents and that's including tax so now I'm gonna have to go back and add up what I just told you uh, add that to the total uh, and give you the total All right, so uh, The additional parts that I went through the crank the block the reluctor wheel head bolts and the spacer All come up to one thousand six hundred and twenty dollars Add that to the thirty eight fifty eight and we get fifty four seventy eight ninety one Now is that expensive? Yes, it's expensive, but um, you know, we got what we wanted and what we needed, uh, to make this block as sturdy as possible, uh, for when we actually do find an HP 90, for those of you that, that, that are out there, if you know of an HP 90 somewhere, please let me know. Um, cause we definitely need to do the transmission before, uh, I want to do the transmission before I put the new engine in. Because I want to push the stock bottom in uh, really as far as we can. And we've done pretty good so far uh, at running 15 pounds of boost. But we're doing a lot to save the transmission at this point. So uh, some additional torque management. And we're pulling all of the timing out of the shifts to save the trans. So the HP90 swap is, is really what I want to do next. Uh, it's just I've got to find a uh, an HP90 to do to do that uh, I did check into getting one from the dealership <laughs> uh, that was ludicrous uh, because I don't I don't have a core to turn back in uh, so it was 6250 for the transmission and the uh, torque converter and then another 3000 uh, because I didn't have a core to turn in so we're looking at you know and that's without tax so we're looking at 92, I think 92.50 before tax. That's not ever gonna happen. <laughs> That's not ever gonna happen. So I need some help finding a used one. So uh, I'm turning you got turning to you guys to help me out to to find one of those HP 90s so we can uh, take Shake and Bake to the next level. But. Uh, that's everything we did to the block. That's all the stuff that we uh, that we used and put into the block. Everything other than the bore. We did we did bore it 20 over i'm admitting that but everything else is stock 57 so the rods the link uh, the, all of that is stock 57 stuff so if you got any questions uh please hit me up on instagram as a better place to ask questions just uh, shoot me some comments down below but uh if you really got some serious questions hit me up on instagram but that's going to do it for this one folks if you're stopping in for the first time Hey, check out the rest of the channel. If you like what's going on, do me those few things.
like them subscribe smash the bell shoot me a comment share it on your social media i definitely appreciate it shake and bake definitely appreciate it because every red penny from youtube goes right back into uh right back into shake and bake which leads me into uh youtube paid a majority of this so believe it or not uh all but uh, a few hundred dollars uh came from youtube revenue so uh definitely appreciate you guys uh keep up keep up watching the videos keep up watching those uh crazy ads and uh we'll see you in the next one adios